when you go to the movies, are you compelled by great storytelling? Characters you can really connect with on an emotional level? Perhaps drama is your genre, like Frank Darabont's Shawshank Redemption. This was a film that was by no means a blockbuster. In fact, it went under the radar at the box office. It wasn't until word of mouth spread that this movie became what it is known as today, a powerful story of redemption. In this movie, the main character, Andy Dufresne, faces insurmountable odds in prison, yet there's always a glimmer of hope. He never gives up. That's our lives. Every day we struggle, but we have to hold on to hope and move forward. In the opening scene, Andy, played by Tim Robbins, is entering Shawshank Prison. He's facing a life sentence, yet he's pretty calm and collective. I asked myself, would I be like that? And then in prison, he helps spearhead the building of a library to spread knowledge throughout the prison, to give hope. And how about this? Frank Darabont uses movie-making magic to enhance his drama with sound and visuals in lieu of using dialogue to tell us the scene where Andy plays Mozart over the loudspeakers. In this grim setting of Shawshank Redemption, music uplifts us, gives us hope, and again, keeps us moving forward on the journey with Andy as he goes through his character arc. We go through his character arc. And how about in life when we feel trapped? Like we're walking in place, not getting anywhere. We can relate to Morgan Freeman's character, Red, when he goes through those various parole hearings and the result is always the same. He's institutionalized and it seems like there's no way out. And of course, Shawshank Redemption does something that so many films throughout all the genres have a difficult time doing. It sticks the landing. It's done with visuals. And check out these other iconic dramas to inspire your creative journey. Sidney Lumet's 12 Angry Men, Robert Zemeckis's Forrest Gump, David Fincher's The Social Network, Francis Ford Coppola's epic, The Godfather. And while you're at it, The Godfather 2, Spielberg, Schindler's List, and then there's the 1941 classic that has inspired so many filmmakers since, Orson Welles' Citizen Kane. Now, make a comment down there with your favorite drama. I'm always looking for a hidden gem that's gone under my radar. And subscribe. And don't forget, I'll love you.